this is the website for my RAK LoRaWAN router gateway. So if I get in here to configuration, you can see it's built in network server and it's set up for Australia. I want to create a new device, so I'll go applications, add application. So this is the name, um, freezer temperature. I don't think it lets you put spaces. Freezer. Separate, I think is what we want so that, I think that gives each one its own key, I'm not sure. This works, that works, that's it. So save application. And then it's going to need some details. So here, end devices. We're gonna add this sensor that I've got. So we'll call it freezer temperature one, freezer temp. I forget what that is. This application key is what we're getting from here. Oops. Oh, I didn't take the photo properly, so I can't copy the whole thing. I've got a better photo. There we go. That letter's scratched out a bit. Hmm, looks like a four. I'm gonna copy that. Is that bringing that in as a four? Four A one two. That should be a four. Okay. What else do I need here? I think that's right. Just guessing. Doesn't seem to say anywhere on my device. Nope. If it doesn't work, I can change it. Now, device EUI, that's here. Copy that. Boom. There we go. That has added that. Now you've got to just wait for it to send through its first packet, which I don't know, sometimes it takes a day or so to register. I'm not sure why that is, but that's how you add an end device. If um, last seen here should come up with the date that it was seen. If I go back to my device, I can press the little button to make it send a pa packet now. And I think I can go back and have a look at that packet coming in, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure where. I think it's there somewhere. Anyway, now what I do is I just wait for this one. Oh, there, there it came through, last seen six seconds ago. Looks like it's working. Now, what I've got is I've got my um, gateway. Set up. to be sending all the details through to my home assistant. I forget where that is. It's here. So gateway backend, what it's doing, it's sending through all 
the data from all my devices through to this MQTT server, which is what's running on my Home Assistant. And that's the password I've got from Home Assistant. So now that I've entered the device into here, into here, sorry, and the device is actually seen, that's here, we jump into Home Assistant to see what data is getting forwarded to Home Assistant from here.